All right, nation. We've taken care of that. Now, the results. Here we go. Let me get this right for you. Uh, turning the lights out. So we're headed toward the grill. I couldn't record and carry that at the same time. Getting old. Let's go and venture out here. Uh, it's a beautiful day here. I mean, an exceptional day. Uh, the heavens are beautiful. Most of the leaves are off. We're going to enjoy ourselves doing this more at the feast. And I know there are you that would say you got it wrong. No, you got it wrong, my friend. Eight, according to yours, man beats. Let us venture. I want you to see this as we walk up. All right. Look at that beauty. Isn't that beautiful? Look at her. Look at that. We're just going to take our time. And she's going to cook right him. Let me say this to you, my friends. Yeah, those that have asked me in the past, especially at the Passover, what about my meal? There is no meal that is mandated by Torah. We eat lamb because we have plenty of them. One's from last year. This one. And this one, I think we produce about 75, 79. Uh, lost about five. But we have plenty of lamb. And this lamb here was born last year. And they're producing already. They're running rapidly in the field. And this is what communal construct will do for you. You learn how to live. You learn how to care for each other. You learn how to love. You don't love each other. When you separate it like that, a man loves his wife, he's with her. They're in the same communal construct. You love Yisrael, you want to live around them. You rather live with wicked people in your cities, whether they are my skin, you or white people. You think you moved up when you move next to a white person and they despise you. You get more hell than anyone. You that are in cities that are huge, that are poor, you have to live whereby they uh, offer you a place to live, the subsidies and all of that. I'm not identifying the mass of people on my hill. Well, you don't go out to the suburb. That's why they moved out. And now they're realizing it's causing so much money to live in the suburbs, they want the other city back. They want that back. And it's, it's a shame that we despise each other so. Men say we're brothers. You Hebrew brothers, then why don't you all get together and buy some duplex? Why don't you do that? Live among each other. Take your resources and pool it. And no one is lacking. Plenty of food, eat together. That's what we do here. Eat together, sing together, cry together, die together. Why don't you do that? Why, why are the leaders not promoting that? Why is it that the Hebrew leaders don't promote that? Tell me. Because they don't want you around them. If me, an uneducated Nicompoops, with no education, y'all put this in my heart. Not that he spoke to me, he did not. By the vision of an old Baptist preacher down in the Delta of Mississippi. And when I read the article, I, I didn't see it on YouTube. I was enthralled, I was enraptured. And immediately I knew this is how Yah wanted his people to live. And I began the process. My wife and I came here, it would be this March, 27 years we've been here.
And I've worked these grounds hard. 27 years I've been here. We were the first ones. And I'm not about to change that. And this is where I get upset with my Akh and love him. The daughters of Tisayon, I can honor them with great honor. You can't do that. You're living in those cities that are full of every damnable thing you can imagine. Here we are, the little sheepy as my babies. Let's look at them. This is one that was born this year. That was one that was born last year. See, this is one. What we do, we castrate all the males because we have, we have rams that are just, you know, they cost when you buy ram that's very productive from a genetic line. See, that's one from the, from this year, that little, little one there. And that's what we have. We feed ourselves any way we want to. We can feed ourselves. We feed ourselves what we want to. And that's what we do here. Sad. You think in a city like New York, you got 10 families. Just think for a minute. You get an apartment there, you got a, you, you, you may get 500 square foot. Nothing wrong with that. Eight, nine hundred thousand dollars because you've been subsidized. Ten, you talk about ten thousand dollars a month. Imagine what you could do if you had this collective nature. You come down Zaz here, not south, but Zaz. Purchase a big old house, the Jamaicans, and those of the Caribbean islands, they come over all the time. And they purchase a house, they, they make the upstairs a family, the middle a family, the basement a family, and they all live together. That's what they do. They make it easy, they eat together and all of that. But somewhere in this wicked country, it has taught us to be indignant. You say, you love me, but you don't want to live with me, around me. You don't even know your neighbors? Well, maybe you've been there so long you know them, but you don't know them. And so we can live in a way that's productive. Everyone is out working today because things are slow this time of the season. It's cold, quite wet here. And uh, we do things collectively together. That's what we do doing repairs and things like that. I am going to this whole community just renovate it. It hasn't been, we've, this what you see has been here for at least 18 years. All of this. This building I renovated was this one down here. This one. The one at the end there. It was a single story. I built it two stories. I did all the block work, 99.9%. .9%. The decking, I did about 80% of that. It is old tin on that roof that I would get for nothing. Cheap, it wasn't expensive, or nothing like that, period. We're in the process because the Achim are not out making the Hassan. Let me show you something. If I was here by myself and utilizing my funds, I cannot, we could not have a tractor like this. You see that tractor there? It's quite, a bit, quite expensive. Is that something inexpensive? That is a big tractor. 100 plus horsepower. It will move anything. Well, we have tractors, we have them abundantly. We have probably three, four, one, two, three. We have one that size. Three, 
We have about seven tractors that we have purchased over a period of time. And they're all workable. But that's a different ball game right here. That's a different kind of a tractor. Can I say this to you? And I'm going to take a break here and I'll be back. There are so many people that have made money growing vegetables. But you can't even bend your back. Let me say this, my friends. I was watching a YouTube video the other day. And the question asks, what is the most productive crop that you can grow? And there was a man, he was a Hispanic. I will utilize that term. And he lived in Colorado. He says, I'll give you three that will produce money. Now this is on a quarter of an acre of land. Excuse me. He says, the first one is strawberries. The person asked, how much will you make of this, what you have? He said, I'll make between thirty and $40,000. He said, after the strawberries, I grow garlic. Because you can always sell that at any time at markets. You get yourself a an organic garden seal. People buy it. And he said, the third one is asparagus. It takes about three years before it produces, but when it starts producing, it's money. And you know if you buy asparagus, organic, it's expensive. Nation. So there's so many things that you have been caught up in this juvenile lifestyle that represents nothing but bills. It's crazy. We have no bills here. None. I live. In a home that is warm, the office is cool during the summer, no bills. Well, what about money? What business is that of yours? There is not one house here that doesn't have money every week. We're able to do that collectively. We're able to live like this collectively. You're a Hebrew Israelites, aren't you? But you live among the heathens. And I say that too, Mark. You can't live with me. Too many restrictions. No, we don't. We live by Torah. No one spies on you here. But you're restricted out there. You in those cities, you know what time you got to be here. They will hurt you. Your children. Your wives. Your husband. Let's get real, people. Let's get real. You watch many of the other nations come here, the Chinese, and we built the way for them. We are the ones that pay the way for the Indians. And they come here, these arrogant beasts. I don't reject I, I don't repent of that. Period. And they come here arrogant. My son is educated, my daughter. Ah. Yet it was not the Indians that paid the way for Indians here. Not the Chinese, not the Japanese, not the Koreans. It was people that look my forefathers that suffer. The indignant suffering. Worked hard. People like you don't work. Mm. Yet. People like you that will have no time for your wife, your son, your daughter, your husband. Chaotic family life. It's all about what a thing, having something. Let me remind you, my friends, you all are going to die. And I'm getting closer to death than what I've lived so far. You're going to die. You can be the clown all you want to. But you are going to die just like I am. And so my life is preparing for death to live. Is all for sad. No, my friend Mexicans, 
You that have your despair against people of my hue. Nay, you that acknowledge or believe that you are one or those of the lost tribes of Yisra'ya'in. And your corrupt attitude toward people of my hue. You did not pave the way for you to come here. And if you had such excellent experience in Mexico while you're here. Yeah, I say it that way. Why are you here? No, it was my forefathers. It was those that opened the doors. For even those that are identified as Jews and others could come. And have equality. That's a fact. And yet you come here. And you do do on us? Ah, what a people. <laughs> what a people. I'm going to teach and preach during the course of the day because I want you to see the end of this product. Let's go back to the other business. Ah, this is my greenhouse getting this ready. This is what I want to look at. Ah, she's getting there. You may say, well, it's not enough in there. Well, we got plenty more. That's enough to get everything. Ah, look at that. It's going to cook. You don't roast something like that in a half an hour. I'm going to stop it with this. So we look forward to coming back. All right. Shalom.